is the PLC control uh, display and you here you have uh, up, down, left, right scrolling and this is the opening screen which says Globe Farmer Maxi Blend MB1 press up down to scroll so we press down and that shows different options there then you press down again then it so shows shell time bar time if you want to set the shell time you press F1 which is here and then you can scroll the time up or down by using the scroll uh, buttons here it is right now set for five minutes so we press enter so the shell time now is set for five minutes now we will set the intense fire bar time bar time you have to press F3 okay and then you can set the bar time by scrolling up or down again and then press enter press enter now we have set both times so now we go back to the previous screen by scrolling up now to run the machine you just press F1 after the five minute blending time is done then the intense fire bar will turn on for whatever time you set. After the blending is done, if the shell has not stopped in the correct position for you to discharge the powder, you can jog the shell to an appropriate position by pressing F3, which is a jog button. like that now you can open the bottom discharge cover plate and discharge the blend into a plastic bag or a proper container this is the v-shell i'm going to install but before that i want to show you something in the trunnion there is a brass bushing i just want you to see this and it has an opening here that has to match with the opening or the hole under the trunnion here. So it goes in like this and both holes have to be aligned which we can do it while installing in the, on the blender. Before installation of a V-shell or a bin or a double cone please note that here there are two white ring type felt seals that have to be installed one is already in there and the second one is in my hand and to install it just slide it over the intensifier shaft and you just push it in place with your fingers that felt seal should be replaced whenever you are changing the formulation or going to a new product. Or, uh, those are replaceable items or you can wash them and re reuse them if you can do that. And if you notice here, there are three openings here for fixing the shells. Use this one for the four quart shell, use the middle one for the eight quart shell and use the last one for the 16 quart shell. Now we will install the V shell. Just slide it onto the shell drive shaft. 
and make sure the bushing is aligned. Now we will put the bolt on and then you tighten the bolt with the wrench. And we are ready to actually do the blending. Now this is the blender running with a V shell. This is the extension you have to use to be able to use half quart, one quart and two quart shells on the Maxi Blend Lab Blender. What this does is it reduces the diameter of the shaft to this so that you can use the smaller shells. All you do is just like we installed the shell, you remove the nut here, slide it onto the shell drive shaft. You just tighten the nut. Now you can install the small shell. and tighten the nut. Now you are ready to use the small shell also. This is the small bottle blending attachment which can also be used with the Maxi Blend Lab Blender. Again, if you want to use the bottle blending attachment, you need to use the extension just like you have to use that with the small shells also. Basically the installation is the same. It would go just like this and you tighten the bolt and then close the enclosure and start the blender. With the small bottle blending attachment you can make very small quantities of blend from a gram or two to up to maybe 30, 50 grams. We also offer a large bottle blending attachment to go on this blender. You can use that to make larger blends in, uh, in bottles and you can make maybe you know, four or six or uh, two blends at a time. These are all the V shells we can use with the Maxi Blend Lab Blender. This is four quart V shell. You can make up to two kilograms of blend. This is eight quart. You can make up to four kilograms of blend. This is 16 quart. You can make up to eight kilograms of blend. This is two quart. You can make about a kilo. This is one quart. You can make about half a kilo. And this is half quart you can make about 250 grams of blend. Of course, it depends on the bulk density of your product as to how much blend you can make. If it is a heavy material, you might be able to make a larger blend. And if it is a lighter material, you can make smaller blend. These are the high speed intensifier bars for four quart, eight quart, 16 quart shells. And these are the pin intensifier bars, 4 quart, 8 quart, 16 quart. Of course, the intensifier bars are the same 